we just got our bathroom remodeled in one day and I am sharing everything we tried before the remodel, um, the whole process, and of course the price. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Lena. I make money at home content. If that interests you, please hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell. So we bought our house two years ago with the express purpose of turning part of it into an Airbnb suite. So it was originally a three bedroom, one bathroom um, with an attached one car garage. But before we got here, somebody converted the garage into an extra bedroom and an extra uh, three quarters bathroom with a shower. So when we were looking at the house, we were looking at that converted garage and shower, and we were thinking we could turn this into a private suite for an Airbnb, and then we could house hack. So that was our plan. So we bought the house and we got renovating right away. The shower in the Airbnb had those glass doors on it. And if you ever seen glass doors, there are lots of little spots that just can't seem to be cleaned at the bottom and it's totally disgusting. So we just ripped those glass doors right off and my husband filled the little holes with some sort of magic putty thing um, and we put in a shower curtain. The other problem with the shower is that it was this ugly off-white dinginess and we wanted a total refresh for our brand new Airbnb and we wanted to not do a whole remodel because we knew how expensive that could be. Converting the Airbnb already cost us a pretty penny because we had to close off the door to the main house. We had to rip off all the sheetrock and insulate with that expensive rock wool insulation so that the sounds wouldn't transfer from our living room to the suite. We replaced the door. We replaced um, all the inside doors and uh, updated all the trim and of course furnished the whole place and replaced the bathroom floor too. So we were already out quite a bit of money and we didn't want an expensive shower remodel at that time. So what we did is we went to Home Depot and we bought this magic spray on stuff to refresh your shower. So then we started working on the shower. So they said you're supposed to sand it first. We were trying to follow all the directions, taping off everything else. And then my husband started spraying it with this magic uh, shower transforming formula. Um, well, it smelled so terrible that we unexpectedly had to leave our house. So the smell lingered for at least a week after you applied it and like you can't go in the house it smells so bad and horrid and we had one son at the time and uh, we just had to leave and it was in the middle of summer and it was so hot and we ended up sleeping outside and on random floors <laughs> because we were not prepared for the part about how much it would smell to do this treatment. The other thing about this spray on was that it was really hard to see how good a job you were doing. It would get on your goggles and then it would get in the air and then you couldn't tell how you were doing. So you couldn't really gauge that. You also had to put on multiple layers so that it would actually cover everything. And of course, you know, you have to be wearing a respirator because it smells horrid and you have to sleep outside. So we did that first and we weren't very impressed and we spent quite a bit of money buying lots of extra cans, trips to Home Depot. We don't live next to Home Depot. It's like 45 minutes to go and buy this stuff and we're like, ah, we just want to get our Airbnb up and running and it's taking forever. Then we decided we were gonna try doing the roll-on stuff. I wish we would have started with this and I feel like it might have just worked better because now we're putting the roll-on shower changer on top of the spray-on shower changer. And if we started with the roll-on stuff, it might have gone better. So the roll-on stuff was definitely better, um, easier to see because it wasn't flying in the air. Uh, the smell was still atrocious. You're still sleeping outside, but it had more even coverage. It wasn't perfect, but we got it in a place that we were happy enough with. So this shower project ended up being a little under 
$500. And we weren't ready for a full remodel at that time. So we're like, good enough. We can open the Airbnb. We can get started. Um, and the shower looks nice and fresh and clean and bright white. So this whole process of fixing up the shower with these different formulas took a couple weeks. It took about $500. And then we decided, good enough. We're going and we started our Airbnb and people have been enjoying it for the last year and a half. Then it started to deteriorate. Things started to peel and it started to look a little ratty. And I'm like, oh man, now we've got to really do something about this. And I don't think our old solution will work. I'm glad we did it this way because it gave us some time in our Airbnb and we didn't have to spend quite as much money right up front to get started. But now we got to deal with this problem and it doesn't look very nice in the shower anymore and that's just disappointing. So about six months ago, we had a new bathtub put in our personal bathroom um, by Bath Fitters and we were pretty pleased with the experience. So we decided maybe we should get a console and see how much that would be because we have to do something I made a whole video about our other bath fitter experience if you want to get all the details about how that one worked out. So the first thing we did was we scheduled that console and someone came out and measured the tub and uh, we went through what kind of options we wanted and we talked about what the price would be. We did get two generous discounts, which was super cool. We got a discount for this being our second bath fitter that we had done. And then we also got a discount for signing up the day of the consult. This video is not sponsored by bath fitters, but I may have a link for you to get your own discount. And I'll try to leave that in the description if I can locate it. We did pick a few different options on this Airbnb tub. Then we picked with our personal tub. So the first one was that we got a different tub. So in our personal bathroom, we got the Empress tub and it has the armrests, which I really like. It's slightly narrower though, which means that it didn't overlap on our existing flooring. So they had to put down this big white panel. We haven't gotten around to replacing the floor in our personal bathroom yet, which means there's that big white panel on the floor, which is not my favorite look. So we opted for a slightly larger tub and it doesn't have the armrest, but it overhangs on the existing flooring. So it looks really nice and it no big panel on the floor this time. Another thing we chose different was the a curtain rod. In our personal bathroom, we chose a curved curtain rod but it kind of encroaches on the rest of the bathroom and the Airbnb bathroom is even smaller. So we went for a straight curtain rod in the Airbnb uh, because it just um, didn't encroach on anything and it looks very simple. We also chose some different faucets. So we chose brushed nickel in our personal bathroom because I was under the illusion that maybe the water spots wouldn't show, but it's a lie. And um, so in the Airbnb, we went for the shiny um, silver one and um, when you brush the spots off, it'll look absolutely beautiful. And that brushed nickel does not save you from water spots. So what's the point? So from the day of the consult to our actual install day, we did have a little bit of a delay. And I think it was about eight weeks uh, between that, but the install itself only took one day. And that's one of the things that was really appealing to us because that means that we don't have to lose a bunch of money from not running the Airbnb. So we blocked out the Airbnb for three days. We had our install day and then we had two days to make sure everything was nice and set up before we had any guests in there. We had our same installer, which was nice. And this job was a little bit trickier because the walls were all like this. And so some amount of fixing to the walls happened. So he had to move the drain because for a shower, the drain is in the middle and he moved it to the side. So he did that plumbing. He moved the shower head up 
Um, so it's really nice and tall for any tall people that come and visit. He ripped out our old uh, shower and cut it all up and he put new sheetrock in, uh, moved the walls a little bit to make it more straight, installed that new shower and the new walls. As far as the smell, there was a little bit of a smell uh, when you went into the actual Airbnb. You couldn't actually smell anything when you were in our part of the house, which was very nice. And the smell in the Airbnb dissipated after a day or so. I'm not sure what it was, but I'm imagining there's some sort of amount of glue that is needed to install that brand new bath. So this install took a little bit longer than the previous one. So he showed up at eight and he left at about 4.30. So it took him eight hours to do this one. And I think the other one took him six hours to do. Um, and that has to do with the walls being a little wonky. Um, but it looks great in there. They did a different trim. So in our personal bathroom, it was this flat uh, trim. And I think that's because of the bathroom being a little bit awkward. But in the Airbnb, they did this rounded edge. And I actually like that a lot better. Um, and they also went all the way up to the ceiling with the siding. And I think that will just be nice for any condensation that gets in there. And the moment we've all been waiting for is how much did this cost? So we got those two nice discounts. We also considered putting in a shower instead of a bath. So we converted it from a shower to a bath, um, but we could have converted it from a shower to a shower. Um, we did end up going with the bath, obviously, but we got the price for the other one, so I can share that also. This does not mean that this is how much your bath fitters would cost because there's lots of different factors. We also chose the simplest, cheapest finishes, and that can really affect what the price is. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, you have to get your own estimate about how much it would cost for you personally and it wouldn't be the exact same as us. So if we had turned it from a shower to another shower, it would have been 5370. This is after taxes um, with the discounts. Since we did decide to go with the brand new tub and turn that bathroom from a three quarter bathroom into a full bathroom, the cost for that was 5942. And that includes the discounts again and all the tax. I always like to include taxes in prices, especially when you buy things that are a little bit pricey. Um, the taxes are a lot of money. You should always ask that when someone gives you an estimate for something like, does this include taxes? Because if you spend uh, $5,000 and taxes are 10%, that's an extra $500. And that makes a difference to your choices. So the difference between us getting a shower versus getting a bath was about $600. And we really ultimately wanted the bath. So we went with the bath. Do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Leave your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.